this is something I had a lot of trouble figuring out how to do, so I decided I'd hop on camera and show other people how to do it in case anybody else is having the same kind of trouble that I had. So here on Simply Art for processing our membership purchases and uh, individual purchases, we are using Magic Members. And in Magic Members, you have the ability to make memberships, do paper posts, or do post packs. Uh, that's where you can do paper posts, but you can put together a pack of posts, you know, more than one, and do it and use the paper post system. So I'm going to go ahead and set up a post pack in Magic Members right now. So the first thing that you need to have, uh, you can use your posts or you can use pages. I'm going to actually use pages. So the first thing I'm going to do, just because this is just for a sample, I'm just going to create three new pages. So let's go here. And each of these uh, three new pages are going to go into the post pack to make one full pack for, pur for purchasing. So let's just go and call this purchase page one. And on purchase page one, I'm going to insert that into level PPP. This stands for level pay per post. This is a level that is not actually a part of the memberships that are offered. It's rather a hidden level that can be used to store paper posts posts <laughs> so that they are not actually a part of any of the memberships but sold outside of all the memberships. So I'll go in there, put that there, do the paper post settings. So you need to make sure that if the user does not have access, is the post or page available to buy? You have to make sure yes. I'll just leave the uh, standard cost of $4 for right now. And uh, all these settings, you know, you can set to your liking, but I'm going to leave them all standard for now because that's not anything extra that we're going over at the moment. And I'm going to use our PayPal standard and keep all these things, all these uh, page attributes and such have to deal with your actual page. I'm just setting the page up for, um, for samples. So of course I'm also going to put in some sample content, put it in between private tags so that it is hidden. Type in like wrong code. <laughs> so, between the private tags, which need to be typed onto the text, not doing the individual tab. And if you want to have something that's available for indexing by search engines or some sort of teaser content to get people into buying this, you can put that here. I'm going to copy that so I don't have to do it again. And everything else should be good on here. I'm just going to go ahead and publish it and make two more. Okay, 
And here is the second page. Let's just throw a two in there. And again, level PPP. Add that, make it yes. And PayPal, keep everything else the same. And publish. Third one, okay, there's a third one. And let's view one of these just to take a look. Okay, so previewing that page, here's what it looks like. And we have our teaser content right here, and here's the private content. This content is visible at the moment because I'm logged in. If we come over here to a browser where I'm not logged in as a user, you'll see that the private content is not available to be seen, and that's because I have to log in to access that, and it tells me such. So now let's go back. And I'm actually going to create one more page that's going to be the parent for these three purchase pages. And I'll make that here. So this page will sell the post pack below. This is not going to be in any of these levels because this is going to be an open page that's going to be used for selling the post packs. There will be no pay for post settings or any of that. Um, I am just setting a standard layout in our system, but this layout will have no effect. Uh, it's not actually part of the process. It wouldn't be a part of the process for you. Okay, now let's go back to our pages. And we will have purchase page one, two, and three. And we will get them located underneath their purchase parent page. Now those pages are there, we're going to go into magic members and set up our post pack. So this is the current version of Magic Members, version 1835. And we will go into the Pay Per Post section. This is already a post pack that was here, but we're going to create a new one. So right here it says create a new pack. This will be the purchase 
pack. And since each one was four bucks, and we have three of them in there, let's call it 12 bucks. Here is a description of the pack. And the payment setting allowed will be PayPal standard. That's, this may vary based on what payments uh, you have set up in Magic members, but that's the one that we use. So you will save that. And it's been successfully created. Now you'll see it's located right here. So now you need to take action to configure it right here. And you have post within purchase pack, which is the name that we just gave it. You'll see there are currently no posts associated. That's because you have to add them in. So now that they are added in, you'll see purchase page one. And I will add that in. And purchase page two. And why is purchase page three not in there? Well, probably because I forgot to add it. So I forgot to uh, set its paper post settings. So let me go back and check that. And let's see. Exactly. Now, I set the settings correctly. Update that. We can go back to our purchase pack. And click into it again. And now number three should be available. There we go. successfully associated to this post, post purchase pack. So now all three posts are part of the post pack. And right here on your short code is a short code that you can use for setting up the purchase of that. So I'll take that short code back and put it into I'll take that short code and put it into our our purchase page which is the parent for all three of the purchase pages right here, purchase parent. And so as we said, this page will sell the post pack below. So let's put it below. There's our shirt code. We will update that. And now let's view the page. So this is what this page looks like. And it has the links to the, the packs, I mean the pages that are in there. And this will link to each one. Save them as, as loading right now. <laughs> okay. So them as, here is purchase page one. Here's page two, and here's page three. Now, this is how it all looks. 
when I'm logged in. Let's go ahead and take this page over to where I'm not. Uh, let's go ahead and log in as a user who has not yet purchased this. Okay, so I am now logged in as a user who has not yet purchased this pack. And I'm also in a browser, which I'm now using Safari, a WebKit browser. And apparently that's causing some sort of a styling issue. But no matter, our information is still visible here and I'll have to work that out later. So what we have over here, you can see the whole thing in the description of the packs. Over here, you have the descriptions of the packs as well with the information here and the links to the pages and one buy now button that would allow you to purchase them. So we'll click the buy now button here. And it sends us to PayPal where you can see the purchase post pack is available for $12, the price that we set. And if you log in here with a PayPal account, you can purchase it. And that is how we set up a purchase pack. Thanks for watching. Hope this was helpful.